Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the most amazing chocolate cake. This is the kind of chocolate cake I imagine the fat kid ate in Matilda. It is so moist and so good. We're gonna start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees, and then I'm gonna show you how to butter a nine inch pan. Put some softened butter onto a paper towel and then spread it around the bottom and sides of the pan. Make sure you get all the sides and edges. You don't want this cake to stick. Then you can pour in either some all-purpose flour or since we're making a chocolate cake, I'm gonna use cocoa powder. Sprinkle it in and then shake the pan back and forth so you cover all of the bottom. Tap out the excess, then I turn it so it gets all the sides covered. Then make sure you just give it a hard couple pats and tap out all of the excess, either into a garbage can or the sink. And then just set those pans aside. You're gonna wanna butter and dust three nine inch cake rounds. This is gonna be a three layer cake and it's amazing. Next, we're gonna to put together our batter. In a large mixing bowl, combine three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, one and a half cups of cocoa powder, a tablespoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Give this a quick whisk to combine it. Next, we'll add in all of our wet ingredients. You can either continue whisking this by hand or switch to a hand mixer. So pour in four eggs, one and a half cups of buttermilk, one and a half cups of hot water, and half a cup of vegetable oil. And then mix this all together. Now, you don't wanna over mix this. You're really just looking to combine all the ingredients and make sure that there's no like flour or cocoa powder left on the side. In fact, I like to finish it off by using a hand scraper and just scraping all the sides and the bottom to make sure everything got in. Now we're ready to divide the batter among the three pans. I find that the easiest way to do this is to use a measuring cup and just scoop it in. I have found that it takes about three cups of the batter to fill each pan evenly. We're gonna bake these in the 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Make sure that you move your rack to the center so that you're baking the cake in the very center of the oven. This will ensure the most even baking. If you can only fit two of your cakes at a time, that's fine, you can bake the third one right after. Once they're done, remove them from the oven and place them on a wire rack to cool. Let them cool for about 10 minutes before turning them over and removing them from the pan. While you're waiting for the cakes to cool, you can go ahead and put together your frosting. Now, I've used all kinds of frosting for this cake, including whipped chocolate ganache, which is pretty good. Today, we're making a chocolate cream cheese buttercream, which happens to be my favorite. Start out with eight ounces of cream cheese in a bowl and add in one, and a half cups of softened butter. Use a hand mixer to whip this together. Once it's light and fluffy, add in one and a half cups of cocoa powder. The kind of cocoa powder you use for this and the cake really matters. Use the highest quality cocoa powder you can find. It really makes a difference. Mix this together. Now at this point, I also add in a couple tablespoons of milk. We may need to add more later. Frosting is really a fickle thing, so the amount of milk you add can really vary. So just eyeball it and trust yourself. We're going to add about eight cups of powdered sugar total. I like to add it in about one cup at a time. In the end, it should look a little something like this. 
Now I'm gonna finish mine off with a scraper just to make sure that all that powdered sugar gets mixed in. Once our cakes are cool, we can put it all together with the frosting. Trust me, this is the most decadent, divine chocolate cake. Now put on those fat pans and enjoy a slice of the most amazing chocolate cake. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other great cooking videos. There's over 100 restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home, so there's sure to be something that you like. See you later.